Hi everyone, this is Middle Ages Gaming and I hope you are all doing okay. This channel is about finding the fun in today's mostly cynical gaming environment in new or older titles. And this is one I can add to the list of worthy of your time. Tyranny developed by Obsidian Entertainment, released in November of 2016. I hold this game dear to me as it carries the distinction of being the CRPG that got me into CRPGs. It is one of the underappreciated gems of Obsidian's catalogue of brilliance and is often overshadowed by Pillars of Eternity, which has revived the CRPG genre to some extent for contemporary gamers. Pillars were released a year and a half before Tyranny, but this was the first CRPG in Obsidian's recent releases that I decided to try, and boy am I glad I did. It is a somewhat streamlined CRPG in character creation and gameplay, and this suited my introduction to CRPGs just fine. With an excellent setting and story, you must make tough decisions regardless of your role-playing preferences. No easy, I just want to be good and save everyone. Although there is a way to play this game benevolently. Or you can be the ultimate badass, if you so choose, kicking people off spires Sparta style. This is one of the coolest worlds created, with fate binders and archons, all serving at the will of an unseen godlike being with immense powers. You play as a fate binder sent to break the back of a rebellion, once and for all. There are two quarrelling and competing armies, in a militaristically disciplined, disfavoured, and the chaotic Scarlet Chorus Horde, that destroys all before it like a plague of locusts, and absorbs the vanquished into its own army. You can decide to align yourself to any of these two forces, or betray them and join the rebels. One of the tools you have at your disposal to achieve your subjugation is through invoking powerful edicts, granted to you by your overlord. These commandments are not something to be trifled with, and once unleashed brings down terrible wanton destruction. Witnessing this is something to behold. This all plays out within the wider backdrop of Kairos, your overlord's political regime, with schemes and plots the player must guard against. You as the player somehow absorbs the power of the edicts and become linked with the ancient monolithic spires. This changes the dynamics of the empire in a dramatic way. Tyranny has all the ingredients of a CRPG with skill-based character creation, companions, looting, text-based dialogue, skill checks, real-time with pause combat and the rest. A great addition is the ability to collect sigils which allows you to create your own spells. There are a surprising number of combinations available to create some unique spells and this is fun to play around with. My first playthrough took about 20 hours and I was ready to jump in again to see what different outcomes my choices would have. What stuck with me is the world building and meaningful moments that stay with you. This game showed me there is excellent writing and world building to be found in CRPGs and subsequently resulted in me playing several modern CRPG series in Pillars of Eternity 1 and 2, Pathfinder Kingmaker and Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, and Divinity Original Sin 1 and 2. I can trace my personal journey with modern CRPGs starting with Tyranny. It was like a new gaming world opening its doors for me. I hope this overview will be helpful for some of you. My aim is to find the fun in gaming with the little free time we all have. And hopefully this channel will help you decide which titles might be worthy of your time and give an idea of how much time a title might require of you. I try to keep the overview short but with enough substance to help you make decisions. Feel free to share some of your gaming adventures in the comments below for me to explore. Until next time, stay safe and live free.